photographer, and so I will speak about photography and uh, what, why I photography mostly at night. Why it's night interesting for me? First, I have good, three good reasons. First, because I like to walk at night, everything is calm, everything is peaceful, and everything looks different. Even Iraklion becomes a small village, uh, things are quiet. Second, the artificial light in the night have colors. It gives me the possibility to play with these colors. The neon give green, the tungsten give yellow, the sodium give red, and I can play in my photography with this artificial light. Third, the night pictures need long exposure. So during this long exposure, I can interfere. Here, like uh, from the left, a blue light who reflects on the wall, on the wall uh, beside. How I interfere in the night? I put my camera on the tripod and I open the lens. So for five, ten minutes, and I can go around with a torch light and uh, some color filters and I can paint uh, the object in the landscape like uh, the umbrellas and I can also combine my light from the torch with the moonlight who gives some uh, light in the background. So it's uh, composed with different uh, kind of lights. I can also use uh, some street lights like the neon, the green light coming from the right and uh, combine it with my torch light and the line in uh, the, f the background, the line is the waves who are uh, with the long exposure who become light. So I can also go to stop the movement of the waves going on the beach with a flash and giving a flash on the wave to stop this. It's a combination with different techniques that I call lightscapes. Uh, waves, flags, everything can be stopped at the moment. This is the technique of lightscape. But the real question I had when I started to make pictures in Greece it's what I want to show. What is photography about? Because when we, it's reality what is uh, photography about. Reality is, sure, it's the pictures we know about Greece, the classical beauties. Uh, you can uh, have archaeology, you can have many good uh, subject in Greece, but reality is also when we walk at night, when we, when we walk from one side to the other, there are also unexpected things who appear. And this uh, feeling of surprise, this feeling of astonishment, is something who is important in art. As said my son once, art is Art has to astonish God. And I think astonishment is something important, the feeling you have. Uh, reality is also sometimes surrealistic. The reality overpasses our imagination sometimes. So, uh, photography, I think, is the perfect media to um, express this uh, feeling of. Uh, uh, surrealism and humor also. Reality has humor and humor is also one of the quality of man. Humor is the religion of the future, as I say the Conrad Lorenz. And I think is uh, something who can also bring something in you, our life. It's also reality is also sometimes the mirror of our dreams and our limits. It's uh, sometimes some derision who is healthy for us. 
to say what we are. Photography is about reality. It's documentary, but it's also an image. It's also a composition of colors, of shapes, and it can bring harmony. It can bring a feeling of beauty. It can bring a feeling of poetry in our simple surrounding. You don't need to have a fantastic subject. You can create harmony with really simple situations, with really simple uh, things. And this can, uh, it's a way to, maybe photography, it's a way to reconcile uh, our, to reconcile us with our environment. We, photography can maybe not change the world, but it can change the way we see the world. And to be more uh, aware of, of what is beauty. To not be too limited in our feeling of what is beauty. Beauty can be everywhere. It can be sur a surprise uh, with the very simple things. I think beauty can be everywhere and a good picture exists everywhere. We just have to see it and we just have to try, to try to see it, to try to make it, to try again and to try again. Thank you very much.